that has never been done before on YouTube. How to lose weight. <laughs> so you watched my last video on the best nutrition plan for fat loss. And you're like, wow, this is amazing. I'm going to try it. Try it for a week and you fell off the bandwagon three days later. So you figured out that you really can't follow a plan. So this is what I want you to do. As the sun goes down. <laughs> a little bit of math is all it takes and then you can eat whatever you want. In this video, I am going to teach you how to calculate the amount of calories you need to maintain your weight, how many calories therefore you need to lose weight. So let's get started. First thing that you have to do is go to Google. So we're going to go to Google. You're gonna type in the search box, BMR, Basal Metabolic Rate Calculator. Done, first step, step one. What is basal metabolic rate? Your basal metabolic rate is the number of calories that your body burns at rest. So if you were to lie in bed all day and not move, your body burns a certain number of calories. and it's actually quite a bit higher than you would expect. Once you have typed in BMR calculator into Google and you've clicked the link for BMR calculator, you are going to put in your height, your weight, your age, and it's gonna spit out a number to you. Usually that number for women is about 13 to 1500 calories, which is awesome because if you were to lie in bed all day and not move, you burn 13 to 1500 calories without doing anything. Once you have that number, you're going to scroll down on the page and click daily calorie needs. It will give you a list of how active you are and you have to pick one that fits for you. So the list of how active you are, you can either pick sedentary, moderately active, active, very active, and extra active. It's very scientific, it's extremely scientific. So once you pick that, you're going to multiply your basal metabolic rate, maybe 13 to 1500 calories, by a number, 1.3, 1.5, 1.6, and it's going to spit out your daily calorie needs. So how many calories do you need to consume to maintain your weight? The sun goes down. We don't that. That's what we said. Now, to calculate the number of calories that you need to lose one pound of body fat a week, which is safe, don't do more than that, to lose one pound of body fat a week, you need to be at a calorie deficit of 500 calories a day. One pound of body fat equals 3,500 calories. So every day for seven days at a deficit of 500 calories, 500 times seven days is ding, 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 3,500 calories, one pound. Simple, simple math. Next step, download the MyFitnessPal app. You gotta track it. I'm just gonna say this right now. You don't wanna follow my plan the greatest nutrition plan ever for fat loss. See the link below to watch it. You know what I follow my plan? You have to track. You have to track, 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 track. I love my fitness pal because you can scan barcodes on things. It's very simple and it gives you the breakdown of protein, fat, carbohydrates, sugar. If you're consuming too much sugar, it really tells you, okay, what am I doing that might not know of. This is why bodybuilders will often use the plan if it fits your macros, because they can literally eat whatever they want, donuts, candy, cheeseburgers, fries, and as long as it fits their macros, they will lose body fat. I am certainly not encouraging you to go and eat all garbage, cheeseburgers and fries like bodybuilders they can because they work out 10 billion hours a day, all I want is you to track your food. <coughs> track your 
food in my fitness pal and if you have the odd glass of wine or a cookie who cares put it in your tracker and still hit your calorie deficit i want to make one thing very 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 clear you do not have to do this calorie deficit with food alone i would actually prefer you don't do it all with food i would prefer if your maintenance calories were 2000 i would prefer you take 200 calories off that maybe in food maybe something that you know you should cut out like sugar or alcohol and then i want you to go burn 300 calories in the gym so i want you to combine the two a calorie deficit a little bit of a deficit with nutrition and then more of a deficit with your workout this is extremely important because one of the biggest mistakes that i have seen in my career is especially women that cut their calories too much then their body hits a brick wall and they plateau and they don't see any results the last thing that you want is to deprive your body and your metabolic tissue like your muscle of the essential vitamins minerals and nutrients that it needs by not eating properly thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful if it was please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other fitness tips, nutrition, advice, and my dog. You were very disruptive today in my video. I was trying to sell. Excuse me, you look at me when I'm talking to you, young lady.